Grace and peace to you, my dear brothers and my dear sisters in the Lord. Today, I want to reflect on what I've titled, Loss of the Sense of Sin. And our text today is 2 Samuel chapter 12 from verse 1 to verse 14. I want to quickly make this observation as my point of entry. There are three practices that are very important in the church, and we could say they are at the heart of the expression of our faith. Number one is proper reception or proper re preparation to receive Jesus in Holy Communion. And not just reception of Jesus in Holy Communion, but a prolongation of our reverence for that sacrament through adoration. And second is true devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of Christ, the Mother of the Church, the Mother of all of us. And true devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary include our efforts to imitate our virtues, our excellence, asking her to intercede for us in our moments of needs. And one of the ways we do that is through daily recitation of the Holy Rosary in honor of her. And the third practice is regular confession. There is a gradual decline in people's interest in the sacrament of confession and this is one of the greatest achievements of the devil destroying the sense of sin in people in our text today second samuel chapter 12 verse 1 to verse 14 we're told that he took nathan to convict david of his sin which by implication after david had committed that sin uh, adultery with Bathsheba and mother of Uriah the Hittite, the husband of Bathsheba, David probably did not feel guilty at all. He didn't realize what he had done wrong until Nathan came and through uh, the means of that allegory, that parable, he led David to the awareness of his sin. And in, in verse 13, David immediately confessed, I have sinned against the Lord. And he asked for mercy. In our words today, there is a pathetic loss of the sense of sin. People do terrible things. People violate the commandments of the Lord. People violate the values of our faith without any qualm of conscience, without feeling guilty. For instance, you see a young man and a young woman in love staying together in perpetual concubinage without the sacrament of matrimony. And yet, no feeling of guilt. You see people doing terrible things without feeling guilty at all. There is loss of sensitivity of sin. There is lack of awareness. There is confusion. There is ignorance. And so today, what Nathan did for David is exactly what the Holy Spirit does, especially in a living soul. The Holy Spirit convicts us of sin. And that is what we are most in need in our society today, especially in the lives of our youth. That sensitivity, that awareness, that contrition that will drive us to approach the Lord, to ask for mercy and to ask for grace to be able to do better. And so let us beg the Lord today, just as David prayed, to create in us a steadfast spirit, a clean heart, let us ask the Lord for the Holy Spirit that will open our eyes so that we may see sin for what it is, so that we may run away from sin, so that we can live that life of righteousness that God has called us to live. And whenever we have wronged God, so that we can come humbly asking for mercy through the precious blood that flowed from Christ on Calvary. May God bless you today and may God grant us that awareness of sin and hatred for everything 
is pleasing to the Lord. God bless you. Let me more of the beauty see, wonderful words of life, beautiful words, wonderful words, wonderful